And what we're going to do is, is basically paint onto this plane these objects. So the first thing we'll do is use the grass. So with the grass selected, I'm going to right click and turn the ribbon on. You can go to object paint. So let's unfreeze everything. So first with the grass selected, I'm going to choose paint with objects from the list and pick and select that grass. And next I'm going to select this plane, paint on, selected objects. And I'm going to hit the brush and you'll see that we can paint on the grass. And you can add some variation here uh, with the scale, the rotation here, and also the offset. So we can just kind of go in and paint this grass here, even on your reference. So we can open that up and take a look at where we want to place grass. And we can actually go through and delete individual pieces where we don't want them, which is quite handy. So I'm going to use paint objects. We've selected again. This time let's use some clothes and we can actually pick more than one object. In fact, if you remove all of these, we can select all of these, add to selected, paint on, select the plane before we'd use, paint on selected, now with the brush selected we can start painting these objects and rather than in order let's paint randomly and you'll see that we're painting random bushes and grass which is a nice quick way to get foliage in And remember, we can always, we're going to hit the tick and turn off paint. And we can always go in and delete individual objects that we don't want. And we can move them around individually as well, which is great. So I'm just going to unhide everything. You can see now we've got quite a dense forest.